Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Afizi Benosli, and my group mate is uh, Abdul Hakim bin Kamal Pasha. We from group A, AS two five one five D one. We will present to you about the lab PHY five six five experiment number one. The title of the experiment is the solar energy availability. The aim of this experiment is to assess the amount of the solar irradiant variable and to assess the shading profile for a particular site. There are two objectives that need to be achieved in the end of this experiment. The first objective is to plot the irradiant profile and determine the irradiant. And the second objective is to access the shading profile of the particular site and to determine the radian at the site. The experiment was involving of two part of the procedure, which is a part A is the site location and the part B is the assessment of the shading profile. For the procedure part A, it is the site location. The first one is the solarimeter need to place at the clear location and horizontally. The function of the solarimeter is to measure the solar irradiant. Next is the time and the value of G radian was recorded. Next is the step Two was repeated in every two minutes in 30 minutes to obtain the value of the time and solar radiance G from the uh, data that we obtain we can plot the graph of G versus T and we can calculate the H radiance Next is the second part of the procedure, which is the assessment of the shading profile. First is solar finder was placed at the location where uh, is the partially shading. And we need to capture the picture of the shading profile using the smartphone. Next, the shading profile need to plot on the part finder chart using the pen and the radiance variable was determined at the site by using the solar part finder. Lastly, we need to determine the ratio of the solar energy variability. Assalamualaikum and very good day to Dr. Madisa. My name is Abdul Hakim bin Kamabasha. So next, I will continue to explain uh, about experiment one, which is solar energy availability. Uh, I will start uh, to explain about result and data, discussion and also conclusion. So uh, there were three sets of results that had been collected at different places in this experiment by using solar pathfinder. So from the first result, we can see there were certain paths uh, that the sunlight had been covered on the solar pathfinder. So the data collected had been transferred into table which had been divided into six parts which is months, solar irradiance, percentage shading, shading factor, solar irradiance available, available at sites and peak sun hours. So uh, the lowest value of percentage shading at first site is on June and July which is 8% which give the shading factor of 0.92. Next is the second result. From this pathfinder, there were shading parts which same as the uh, first result, but uh, this shows a this shows, uh, little bit more compared to the first result. So from, the, from this table, the lowest percentage shading at second site is on March, which is 3%, and then Followed by May, June and July which is 4%.
So this is the last data for this experiment. So from the Pathfinder, we can see no shading at all. The percentage shading for the whole year is zero, which gives uh, the shading factor of one for the whole year. So there were some calculations in this experiment. The first one is to calculate the shading factor. The formula is 100% minus with percentage shading and divided by 100%. Uh, next is calculation for solar irradiance available, available at site and uh, peak sun hour. So uh, from the collected data and the calculation that had been met, the first data sheet gives the total solar irradiance available at site for the whole year is 1,561.87 kilowatt hour per meter square and the average daily peak sun is uh, 5,651.53 hours. Next, the second data sheet gives total solar irradiance at site of 1,552.75 kilowatt hours per meter square and the average of PSH is 5,000 589.9. The third data sheet gives the total solar radiance available at site of 1760 kilowatt hour per meter square and the average of PSH is 6343.4. Okay, for discussion, the solar irradiance for data sheet 3 shows the highest compared to data sheet 1 and also data sheet 2. So the average daily PSH for data sheet 3 shows the highest compared to other data sheet. The value of total solar irradiance and average daily PSH depending on percentage of shading present. The more percentage of shading, the lower value of solar irradiance and PSH. So, uh, as a conclusion, uh, if the shading factor is high, the total amount of solar irradiance available at site is high. The solar panel is recommended to build and install at data tree site. So the data sheet tree shows the highest value of solar irradiance and PSH, which is respectively 1,762 kilowatt hours per meter square and 6,343. That's all from me. Thank you.